witness such a thing is enough to leave your mind in ruins. The madness killed my sister. And left me frightened. And alone. Until I was rescued. Rescued by survivors who had joined together to rid the world of the creatures of hell. They saw in me the strength to resist the demons. And they forged me into a weapon. Now, I am ready. The meteor has fallen in Tristram, and the dead have risen in its wake. I will send them back to their graves. Once I was hunted, now I am the hunter. Dead reek like this. The fallen star is near. I have journeyed here to find the Fallen Star, and purge its evil from this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! Stronger. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them, just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. Zacharum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world. Can't you see that? May the gods who abandoned us come to your aid one last time. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. I promised Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon? My brother died defending this town, while that bloated coward tried to run away. Some heroes are fighting each other in an area near here. 
Wanna go? Oh, and uh, you didn't hear about it from me. <laughs> Afraid of damaging your armor or weapons? Uh, that won't happen over there. In fact, no one even dies. Disappointing, really. Off you go. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. Have you come to help us? The other adventurers who came through here didn't look so deadly. I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky was no rock. A rock doesn't cause the dead to leave their graves. Welcome to the Slaughtered Caffeine. Bring me whatever treasures you have no use for. I'll give you a bit of coin to save up for your casket. Leah, is it? Rumford said that you survived the Fallen Star's impact. I did. But it blasted my uncle, Deckard Cain, into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The wounded are turning! This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Then I shall put an end to them and secure your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith, but if help doesn't arrive soon... Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. What can I do to help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry. I will avenge their deaths. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these... Horrors. They're attacking the barricades! My hatred is too low. There! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road.
In the eastern kingdom of Hejistan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission. Praise the powers that be. Griswold, bless his dear heart, risked everything to bring that dear boy home from the cathedral. Though he is troubled and moody now, I am certain it will pass, and he will once again be the sweet wort we all love. I have more control now. I returned to Condoras after twenty years, the burden of countless failures and tragedies heaped upon my shoulders. Am I being punished for helping that stranger hunt the Dark Wanderer? I always thought Deckard Cain half a madman, but perhaps he was right. Perhaps he can banish the shadow hanging over my life. While exploring a cave, with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. These unholy creatures can rest now. <laughs> Old Tristram, Diablo's evil still lingers here.
accustomed to that. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Here, let me open the gate. Ogden and his wife have offered to let me and Grandmother continue to stay with them. I think we will, now that the troubles are over. I am still tormented by horrific nightmares. I keep hoping they will fade, but they seem to be getting stronger. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What of your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Not enough hatred. Secrets. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. I need more hatred to do that. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. 
the shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. For a long time, Uncle Deckard avoided coming back to this place. There were a lot of ghosts here for him. This is where Diablo drove old King Leoric mad and terrorized the people. I don't know what really happened here, but whatever it was, it was horrible. Nearly everyone who survived went mad. How did your mother die? Well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. So many dead. How satisfying. The infamous Tristram Cathedral. I am close to the Fallen Star now. This is where the star fell. My quarry must be near. creature to die.
My hatred is too low. It's inside me! Inside! Ah! Oh, minions, stay back! Back! May this ledge hold. The Skeleton King? The power of the Fallen Star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! I'm here to rescue you! Help! Help! Oh, thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? Leah asked for my aid. She will be relieved to see you again. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I feared the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found.
This cannot be opened yet. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. save her uncle, Deckard Cain. When I found him, he was facing the Skeleton King. And now, this abomination blocks my path to the Fallen Star. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you, and your friend here. I have but one request of you. What do you know of the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid. Though the prophecy of the End Days surely points to it as a sign that the End has begun. Please, Uncle. Not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. A tragic story, but I cannot reach the Fallen Star until I face him. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. What does your uncle seek? He's convinced that the forces of Hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you learn of your mother? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. You can't blame yourself. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world, has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. 
You and Leah seem very close. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the Burning Hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Kane. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world, written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. Leoric was driven mad by Diablo? Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son Albrecht was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. What did Leoric do as the Skeleton King? He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. When Leah told us the dead were pouring out of the cathedral, we quickly went to put an end to it. At first it seemed we were succeeding, but, the, but they just kept coming. We... Well, we were overcome. Captain Dalton and the men fought valiantly. They protected me. I am no soldier. I am... I was a farmer. I should not have been out there with them. I do not know how I made it back here. None of the others did. And now, somehow, I am supposed to lead the militia. I volunteered to help because it seemed the right thing to do. But I'm no leader of men. Few are. But you are the best they have right now, so you need to lead. That's a simple thing for you to say. You were born to fight monsters like the Risen Dead. Me? I'm just a farmer. These dark events tax us. I worry for Hadrig, our blacksmith most of all. His wife has been injured, and he is tasked with seeing to those who may turn. His family has suffered under this curse before. His grandfather... The Chancellor to King Leoric was killed when the evil first spread over Tristram, 20 years ago. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. If you've given up, then you're already dead. Bless you for saving Deckard Cain. I don't know what Leah would do, what any of us would do if Cain were truly lost. some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Each of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must.
Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. What is driving that woman? Sheldo, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vecin, are nomads. Always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. My future holds vengeance. What will you do with your revenge when you have it? You still need to make a life for yourself. A little love would do you wonders. The world is constantly renewing itself, eternally playing out the same events over and over again. We can merely play our parts. Must you always speak in riddles? I speak clearly. Do not blame me for the state of your mind. Blacksmith, Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? Sometimes death is the only mercy we have left. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. You think you're some type of hero? Here to save us all? The dead will feast on your bones as easily as they will ours. Hey, come over here. I've got some new things you really need to see. Look, I'm happy to sell to you, but you've got to promise not to tell anyone where you got these goods from, okay? This gate is locked by order of the captain. You can't go out there. The hollow is swarming with horrors. If we were to open these gates, they'd overwhelm the town in minutes. My friends! I'm sorry. Sorrow won't save your town, Blacksmith. Mira, my love, forgive me. Ah, Hedrick, help me. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. There is one favor I must ask of you. Do you know where Leoric's crown is? I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town.
Sorry, the ferry to Wortham isn't running. Can't take anyone anywhere with all that's happening around here. It's not safe. That thing must die. Not enough hatred.
off. for that creature to die. I need more hatred to do that. Not enough hatred.
My hatred is too low. Hey, come over here. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Tell me about your grandfather, the Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. A brave deed. It is good to know that there was one sane man among the man.